So hi, my name is Mohammed Najjar. I'm from Nokia Cloudman. I'm software engineer in Vitrage, contributor in Vitrage. Uh, so we'll go on project update about Vitrage. So short, what is Vitrage? What's all about? So Vitrage, it's OpenStack root cause analysis service that has three main functions. The first one, it's providing root cause analysis. Suppose you are a cloud administrator and you have a severe problem in your, uh, in your system. You could get a lot of alarms from different resources. Vitrage can help you to arrange them and give you the root cause view and pinpoint on the problem. So, and the second one would be raise alarm raised deduced alarm on resources that might not be directly monitored using detailed uh, topology graph um, that has, from this graph, Vitrage has a deep understanding uh, on the system so it uh, can raise deduced alarms on those affected resources. Uh, for example, a very simple uh, scenario, if you have a host and the NIC is down. Uh, on this host, you will have an instance, but the instance would be unreachable because the host is down. But Nova is not aware about this uh, instance is down. So we raise deduced uh, alarm and setting deduced state, and we'll inform Nova about that. Uh, the third thing would be, would be the giving holistic and clear view of the system from the topology graph. Um, the entity graph would give us the three layers uh, of relationship between the entities. First would be the physical layer, and we have the application layer and the virtual layer between them. Physical layer would be like hosts, uh, virtual layer like instances, and the application layer like deployments of application, for example, heat. Um, bit about project background. So Vitrage started three years ago by Nuka developers. Um, since then, we, back then we realized that there is no RCA solution in OpenStack, so we initiated a uh, new project for this purpose. After only six months, uh, Vitrage became an official OpenStack project. Um, by the way, it's record time. And now Vitrage is stable, mature running on production in large deployments. Um, during a rocky cycle, we had uh, around 10 active contributors. So let me describe the main feature we introduced in Rocky Cycle. The first and the big one is alarm history. So one of the main features, uh, since Vitrage holds an in-memory graph database, which is Network X, uh, when alarms is cleared, it is deleted from the graph, so we can't uh, go after records uh, from deleted uh, alarms. So we wanted uh, the user to see the alarms that cleared. For example, um, if a cloud am administrator come to work at the morning, he wants to see the health of his system so he can uh, go back and see the alarms that occurred at night. Uh, Another example is uh, if we have an uh, etcd problem and uh, it's trying to scale out, but we can't know what is the problem caused to etcd problem. So if we go back in history, you can see that it was caused because safe uh, problems that uh, now we can go and recover this etcd container. Um, so another motivation would be giving 
uh, statistics uh, from, different, uh, from previous alarms, which alarm appeared the most, and we can give uh, like the administrator uh, a big point what he could do or change in his uh, cloud. Um, so what is uh, the in implementation of that? So again, we had uh, network X in memory. Now, alongside to that, we, we are uh, using history uh, and keeping it in a relational database, MariaDB. Um, so, but we are um, storing only the basic information, meaning the alarm properties, its research ID, and the relation between the alarms. This way, uh, we are not replacing the graph database, so it's another additional in the side, uh, and all that going alongside uh, from the in-memory um, database. So another big feature would be uh, fast uh, failover uh, mechanism. So we trash the policy graph again held in network X. So period to Rocky restart graph process uh, means that entire graph had to rebuild itself from data sources. Uh, and we have seen cases where data sources are not implemented efficiently. So this uh, restart uh, took a lot of time. So we wanted to make it more efficient. Um, so now uh, we, we are using uh, the database. We are uh, uh, storing graph snapshots uh, into uh, and this help us to fast failover. So how we do that, and after uh, periodically get all, we take the whole graph and uh, make a snapshot from it and depress it uh, and put it in our, uh, compose it and put it in uh, the database. And between each get all, we are storing the events that happened. So after uh, restarting a graph, we take the last snapshot and playing the events that occurred since then. Uh, so after trying that, it was very fast compared to the previous uh, situation that we had. And it is more efficient. So. Another thing would be, so yeah, it is all related. Uh, it gave us a significant performance enhancement. Now we can support more entities, uh, around 100,000 entities. And then we are continuing this effort and we want to improve the performance. We'll see later. So yeah. Um, now we have uh, Kubernetes and Prometheus data sources. Uh, Kubernetes, if you don't know, it's the leading container orchestration framework, and Prometheus is the leading monitor on Kubernetes. Um, Vitrage uh, now can show topology uh, that includes both Nova and both Kubernetes cluster. Uh, instances uh, from Nova and um, instances that are related to the Kubernetes cluster and uh, can perform a root cause analysis from Prometheus and Zebex and relate those uh, alarms together. A very nice demo we can see in the booth. And so now let's talk about the future. Um, what we are holding to stain. So we want this very bad to generate a template uh, in more easy way. We have a great uh, template now, but it's getting uh, complicated for a scenario which are very simple uh, and it can get reputation like all the time. So we are 
thought to let's do two things, like let's generate a template from few parameters, or uh, we can do um, easier uh, template syntax, uh, which will be used, uh, for example, in heat. We'll see that in a minute. Uh, very, again, a very um, known uh, scenario. It is a uh, host uh, with an instance. Uh, there's alarm on the host, which causes alarm on the instance and the way uh, back. So those are can be generated easily from just specifying the alert name on the host, alert name on the uh, instance, and the severity. Another thing that what I mentioned before, um, the motivation is uh, shorter template syntax would be enable uh, configuring vitrage templates within heat template. So uh, again, from little uh, parameters that are given from heat templates, we can uh, we want to generate vitrage template in a shortened way, um, and a very basic template is not shortened. As I explained, uh, as I explained uh, uh, the scenario before, and we want the heat users to have uh, not to write a lot to use vitrage. That's the main uh, motivation. Um, yeah. So another thing that related to the database. We started using it in the database and storing uh, alarms and snapshots. We still want to uh, improve uh, Vitrage API um, by uh, so the pretty big work have done before, and we are still uh, want to improve Vitrage API and reduce the memory it's using uh, instead. Another thing would be add a graph, add, add an action panel in an entity graph. Uh, so adding a mechanism running on external actions which are manually configured by the users uh, from the entity graph. The action will be plugins so the user can uh, write his uh, actions and execute execute them. Um, example for those would be like opening external monitor, um, executing external tests, and etc. Uh, a second phase would be uh, actions depend on a current section a selection in the graph. Uh, for example, selecting a host, so do an action that related to the host. Other features um, are a um, very big one. We needed to handle it before, but it is still, we need to, uh, we want to do it now. It is Vitrage Tempest plugin that need to be refactored uh, because many test and Vitrage code uh, accesses Vitrage code directly and it is wrong. Uh, the Tempest should uh, access Vitrage API only. So we are trying uh, to refactor that. And we want now to uh, support upgrade um, and a trove that I just w went to their uh, presentation. Trove, it is a data database as a service providing automated database and lifecycle management, including provision, configuration, backups, scaling, and etc. cetera. So uh, we're looking to integrate with them. Uh, we already have, uh, we are want to have a data source with them 
um, to get uh, uh, the entities and throw them in our entity graph. Um, and we want integration with other the data sources, but the problem we don't have uh, enough resources, so everyone that is interested to contribute and uh, help us with that. And uh, so we are considering uh, sending vitrage alarms to Zakar. And very, very important, we want integration with Monasca. We hope to have it soon. Um, so another thing that Vitrage is highly involved in self-healing special interest group. Uh, the purpose of this group is to identify use cases requires self-healing uh, and document possible solutions that involve several OpenStack components. So we already have uh, um, integration with Congress that uh, consumes notification about vitrage alarms. Um, and we would like to let users to configure vitrage within Kitaplaint, as I said before. And again, Monasca, Monasca, vitrage would, uh, should get all alarms from Monasca and be able to perform root cause analysis on them. And a pretty cool project called NGPass. It's an incorporating of several companies and academics like Orange, EMEC, Atos, and DTU. Those companies and academics um, aim to define and support the coming 5G platform as a service. So. Uh, in vitrage side, we uh, developed the Kubernetes uh, and Prometheus data sources on vitrage. And that's it, basically. So contact us on those uh, ways. And if you have any questions, please ask. The question is, is it possible to connect Kubernetes uh, Prometheus, Prometheus as data source external from uh, OpenStack? So yeah, Vitrage can be deployed outside, uh, outside OpenStack. So you would be able to do that on, it's not related to OpenStack. So okay. it can be integrated with Kubernetes and Prometheus. The question is how many uh, memory, I need to repeat it to, how many uh, storage we need to store 1,000 entities? Um, this is a very technical uh, answer, but I can give you the exact because it depends on wh what are the entities. Uh, I can't tell you because it depends on the, Entity graph, how it's uh, going with alarms, how the whole cloud is uh, um, working. So it's not exact number or consumption. If it's working, I don't know. Okay. Cool. In North Korea. So, uh, our center has consistently contributed to Vitrage. Uh, so, as before a previous slide, the entity panel, actual entity panel. Uh, Do you mean here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You mean this one, right? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, he and me, he and I are, are consistently contributing to 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Just I want to. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, a comment, what, not a question, was on the entity graph action panel. That uh, here is a guy that is uh, alongside with Minwok is uh, contributing this action panel, and he wants a status update. What is uh, Actual, yeah, what will, uh, so yeah, okay, and what? Cool. So the second note was about uh, deploying Vitrage in Edge, right? Mm -hmm. yes. And uh, you have a uh, design, yes, some, architecture. some ar architecture design on that. So uh, those are very specific things we can talk uh, privately and we can um, I give you information where you can contact that. But Thank you. <laughs> um, so the time is up, right? So thank you all for coming. <laughs>